There are only two days in the year that nothing can be done. One is called yesterday and the other is called tomorrow. Today is the right day to love, believe, do and mostly live. If you think you are too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito. Just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. Don't ever mistake my silence for ignorance, my calmness for acceptance or my kindness for weakness. Compassion and tolerance are not a sign of weakness, but a sign of strength. Man surprised me most about humanity, because he sacrifices his health in order to make money. Then he sacrifices money to recuperate his health, and then he is so anxious about the future that he does not enjoy the present. The result being that he does not live in the present or the future. He lives as if he is never going to die, and then dies having never really lived. Give the ones you love wings to fly, roots to come back and reasons to stay. Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. The planet does not need more successful people. The planet desperately needs more peacemakers, healers, restorers, storytellers, and lovers of all kinds. When you talk you are only repeating something you already know. But, if you listen you may learn something new. Every day, think as you wake up, today I am fortunate to be alive. I have a precious human life. I am not going to waste it. I am going to use all my energies to develop myself, to expand my heart out to others, to achieve enlightenment for the benefit of all beings. I am going to have kind thoughts towards others. I am not going to get angry or think badly about others. I am going to benefit others as much as I can. Whether one is rich or poor, educated or illiterate, religious or non-believing, man or woman, black, white, or brown, we are all the same, physically, emotionally, and mentally, we are all equal. We all share basic needs for food, shelter, safety, and love. We all aspire to happiness and we all shun suffering. Each of us has hopes, worries, fears, and dreams. Each of us wants the best for our family and loved ones. We all experience pain when we suffer loss and joy when we achieve what we seek. On this fundamental level, religion, ethnicity, culture, and language make no difference. Our prime purpose in this life is to help others, and if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. If it can be solved, there's no need to worry, and if it can't be solved, worry is of no use. When you think everything is someone else's fault, you will suffer a lot. When you realize that everything springs only from yourself, you will learn both peace and joy. We can reject everything else, religion, ideology, all received wisdom, but we cannot escape the necessity of love and compassion. This, then, is my true religion, my simple faith. In this sense, there is no need for temple or church, for mosque or synagogue, no need for complicated philosophy, doctrine, or dogma. Our own heart, our own mind, is the temple. The doctrine is compassion, love for others and respect for their rights and dignity, no matter who or what they are. Ultimately these are all we need. We often add to our pain and suffering by being overly sensitive, overreacting to minor things, and sometimes taking things too personally. I have found that the greatest degree of inner tranquility comes from the development of love and compassion. The more we care for the happiness of others, the greater is our own sense of well-being. Cultivating a close, warm-hearted feeling for others automatically puts the mind at ease. It is the ultimate source of success in life. If someone does not smile at you, be generous and offer your own smile. Nobody needs a smile more than the one that cannot smile to others. Remember that the best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your need for each other. Pain can change you, but that doesn't mean it has to be a bad change. Take that pain and turn it into wisdom. Remember that sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck. The period of greatest gain in knowledge and experience is the most difficult period in one's life. 